And today, actually, we're going to do something different. Yeah. Uh, it's my son, Kyle, Hello. who is just barely drinking age. I uh, met his place in northern New York, and um, he uh, shelled out some pretty good cash for this beer. One of my favorite. My favorite. It's my favorite beer. Yeah, how much did it cost? Uh, thirteen dollars a bottle, I think. About thirteen. Why is it special? It's the best of the best. It's it's uh, cooked down and boiled down for 120 minutes, and they use the best of the hops. They put the money into it. The best. They spend the best money to get the best product. I think. I mean, that's what I think. This beer's also been aged three years, and we'll talk about that a little more. Uh, this is Dogfish Head 120 minute IPA. And I'll explain what that means because I've used to brew, brew beer for quite a few years. But it is actually a pretty, pretty special beer. If you, there's the label. If you don't mind shelling out the cash. This beer comes out of Milton, Delaware. The brewery's been there for 25 years, established 1995. And uh, they, they put out really good beers. Their thing is uh, IPAs. Beer cap, I guess, if that means anything to you. This is his beer, and he bought it, because I would never pay $13 for a bottle of beer. They, they, um, one thing I learned about them with the bottle cap color is that some of their bottle caps, some of their beers have the same color bottle cap. This one does not, because their bottles are all the same size and shape, and some of their beers do have the same bottle cap cover, but the, uh, the price is significantly different. So if all their beers had this fluorescent colored one, you could get one of their lower priced beers and sneak a couple of these into your 12, six pack. And uh, they would never know the difference buying it at the store. My, uh, I think that's thoughtful. Would tell on me though. Some people wouldn't. And this is a uh, pretty penny to be spending on brewing a beer, I think probably, right? I'd say so, yeah. Um, let me explain a little something. The one, it's a 120-minute IPA. That refers to when they boil the wort, W-O-R-T. Uh, after you mix everything together, you're making your beer, you haven't fermented, you haven't put any yeast in it yet. You haven't bottled it, obviously. You might have a pot, let's say a 10-gallon pot, that full. You boil it down, boil just the water. 60 minutes is usually the boil time, sometimes less. Depends on what you're trying to brew. The longer you brew it down, the more obviously condensed like syrup it's going to get. Like making sauce. Like like making, uh, yeah, he makes uh, pepper sauce. She makes good spaghetti sauce and same thing, so, you cook it down for a long time let it cook off. This beer has been boiled down <clears throat> for two hours, so what they wound up with was a very, very condensed uh, wort, liquid. Wort is uh, just the name of beer before it's been fermented out still in a brew pot so it's pretty condensed and when they add the hops to it you wind up with a high alcohol beer this beer is 15 to 20 percent alcohol by volume don't they uh continually they add fresh hops too while it's going through the boil so it doesn't boil yeah. all the, yeah, the uh, stuff that's already in there into a mesh that's worthless they keep adding new stuff according to their website they keep adding uh, the hops all through the boiling process, mm. then they dry hop it. All right, mm. let's get into the beer. You got a lighter? Something to open this can with? I do. Bottle? Yeah, I can. <laughs> right. I've had a long drive coming up here. Not really, three hours, but it was rush hour. Through Syracuse. Now let's talk about this uh, char cuttery, right? Yeah, yep. Now, Kyle's, Kyle's woman. Heather is into this. She put all this together tonight. It's called char cuttery, and that's I think what's what's that? The art of it's basically the art of uh, just preparing a platter, but in like a you know a, an aesthetically pleasing way, and to be thoughtful about the different flavor combinations and stuff. Actually, a lot of the stuff they say is paired good with this beer is so, on that platter. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. She didn't even do that yeah. on purpose, but just worked out that way. Yeah. Lucky, lucky. Foyzoic. Foyzoic. German for cigarette lighter. Foyzoic. Uh, Foyzoic. Fire thing. Fire thing? Are you serious? Yeah, it's a Zoic's thing and huh. Foya's fire. That is an old language, isn't it? Fire zombie. 
One of the oldest? Yeah, English sprung forth from German and um, Latin, pretty much, and other a few other languages. A little bit of French later on. Um, well, I guess let's get into this beer. Jesus, right out the bottle, it's still... I mean, you what know, do you get for smell, huh? You know what you're getting into. Of course, we have hand blown beer mugs. This one was gifted. Holy cripes. Looks like motor oil. <laughs> That's a finest motor wow. oil. Wow. Yeah, it's still a little heady, too, after that three years. That is something else, isn't it? My God. Now, like, here's something Can't about see. this beer, actually. Um, it's got a sediment in the bottom, it's got a yeast sediment in the bottom of it. Yep. It's bottle conditioned. It's three years old. Really if the beer is unfiltered, that means they didn't filter the yeast out of it. So you can lay the beer up and it'll, it will age and improve and change character over years. And uh, this beer is unfiltered and so has a yeast in it. Actually, you want the yeast. That's pure B12. Yeah, there's a nice layer of it in the bottom of mine, that's for sure. Usually, what I should have done is, I'm going to make a mess. <laughs> a little swing? Yeah, we'll just try to swig here. We're going to make a mess. It's a bad idea. But oh, yeah, I lost a little I'll bit. Try to get all that? I'll drink that later when nobody's bit. looking. <laughs> all right. Let's get into this. You can see this on there, how it looks. You can't even see through it. No, I mean, you might get some light. can't Maybe. even see through it. For them. It's... Cloudy, it looks like, to me, it looks like homemade apple cider. It's, yes. Uh, let's see, the smell. What do you get for a smell? You, you can smell the alcohol first. You smell the right. alcohol. Yep. Definitely. Like caramel or something. Caramel, yeah. Candy. It's hard to smell it without drinking it. <laughs> uh, it kind of went... It, the temperature of this beer, I've been sitting outside, beer's about 50 degrees, which is good for this, I'd say. Yeah, I didn't want it too cold. All right, so let's see, how, what do you think? I'll let you go first on a taste. Oh, mm. jeepers. Yeah. That's a beer that sets itself apart. You know, it's not, Ooh. you're not going to get something else like this at the store. Not at all. It's That's, strong. You taste the alcohol up front. It's like having a bourbon or a scotch with a lot of really sweet notes. Wow. Ew. That is different. Put your hair a little on edge. <laughs> you will not be funneling this. You might funnel this beer. You want to. You can have one and you're probably going to have a nap. Oh my god, this beer is strong. I had one last night, I have to admit, and it was... I was disappointed when it was gone. You will be disappointed when your beer is gone if you buy these. I'm going to try some of these. By the way, Heather, you did a very good job on this. Yes, yeah, nice looking. Purple cheese. Purple cheese. Close to the Dubliner, I think. Hmm. Yeah, your char cuttery steals the show here. This is not when you drink the whole thing in the video, you know. But no. in the video, if your beer's gone, you're probably not staying up much longer. I can put some beer down, but <laughs> I have to say, but this beer is not going to be going down too fast. It's a little more like liquor. It is very strong beer. It says on the bottle, what you have here is a holy grail for hop heads. Beer is continually hopped for over 120 minutes, boiled, and then dry hopped for over a month. Dry hopped for over a month after the boil. So they continue to add hops for over a month after they do that whole boil down for two hours. Enjoy now or age for a decade or so. And that's all they say. I've read some wordy beer cans before, but that's just, you know what you got here. That's uh, good stuff. Bottles. Yeah. Dogfish Head 120 minute IPA. If you can find it and you want to sit by your fireplace with your golden retriever next to you and uh, 
you want to just kind of mellow out, you know, this would probably be a good beer for it. I'm oh, trying to yeah. Think, trying to construct a Norman Norman Rockwell scene here. First date. Have a little picnic. Nice beer. If she likes beer. Oh, yeah. Or he likes beer. <laughs> I mean, if you're a girl and you're drinking gotcha. the beer. God damn it. Excuse my language. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it sets a tone, man. And it sets a bar high. I don't think I've ever had a better beer. I mean, for a... If you're really looking for like a Kwanasar, like the best beer you could have, I'm sure there's probably better ones, but this one always hits right. And so I stopped trying other really strong, expensive beers. because so I was like, this is it. That's the precipice of what I expect a good beer to be. So well, I don't want to buy something when I don't have much money to throw down to buy a nice beer very often. I have to come up with money sometimes to get a nice beer if I'm gonna have a nice beer. I'm really stretching it, like most people. You're gonna spend this kind of money on beer. It's an occasion. It's got the alcohol content of about four beers and one mug. Yeah, I don't want to buy something I don't know when I have enough money to buy a few nice beers. So this one I have stuck with, so it's kind of kept me from trying other beers that might be better, I don't know. But for me, this is the best. Wow. This is the strongest beer I've ever had. And uh, that's saying quite a lot. I've been drinking beer since 1937, to be exact. 1937. Yeah, they can't really, they don't even put the alcohol percentage on it because you typically age these like they are aged now. Stronger than? Yeah, it's probably 15, 20 range. Definitely. Taste the alcohol up front with this. It's nice though. It's better than a scotch or a bourbon. I don't like how much that burns. This is... Whew. A real drinker. I get some like kind of candyish taste to it. I don't know, like a Belgium wine. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't had some of the Belgium wines. That, actually, the Belgium beers, their ales, their triples. Uh, they actually do have some candy put into them. I'm gonna try some of that. I've never had one. Might maybe this is what it tastes like. It's still got good carbonation after all this time. I mean, if it's still good, you're not gonna lose that, right? It's, it's stored right. Yeah, well, it's unfiltered. That means the yeast is still in the bottle. So it continues. So it's continually fermenting. You know, so you could leave this set out on the table overnight. Get up in the morning and swirl it around, and you'll have more foam on it. Believe me, if I left this sitting out on the table, I would pick it up in the morning. <laughs> Put it somewhere. You swish it around, it'll fizz. Yeah. Because it's it's unfiltered. It still has the yeast. Yeah, you don't waste this. Well, some people probably do. I don't have the means to waste this. No. I drink this with a cigarette butt. <laughs> Maybe not. That's a Probably. exaggeration, but I might take it out, filter it out or something. Consider it. <laughs> There's pepper jelly here uh, from my home garden's peppers, but I don't think I've had it yet. Mm. I'm pretty sure. This beer will kill COVID. That pepper jelly will kill gingivitis. Oh my God, that's hot. Wow. Like homemade habaneros and uh, cayenne, right? Cayenne habanero? Thanks for the uh, munchies. You had a pepper yet? Oh, oh, the peppers are great. I'm oh, lucky I'm not fat. I don't be a total pig. <laughs> right? But he was gone. We just see her start filling her face. You're talking with food coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Man, that's... What are you going to say about it? I've already given it it's all, all its praise, I feel like. Oh shit. Ah, got it. I'll be honest. Call me. Fair sheet. It's too strong for my taste, honestly. If you had one, you'd split it with somebody at like your wedding or something. <laughs> split it with four people. Right, four. Yeah. 
one hole in each. I could have got one, but I thought, you know what? Why don't I at least not run out of beer while we're shooting a video if we're going to do a review on it? Well, I generally like to kill my beer and then the video ends, so. Uh oh, maybe maybe I don't need to do that this time. <sighs> what more can we say about this beer? Um, if you buy it, make a video about it and shoot me a link. I don't know about availability for different different states too. I think they pretty much sell everywhere. They do pretty well. Hmm. If anybody's ever tried another beer that's very comparable to this, have a mouthful. But um, yeah, comment. Because if you've had this one and you know another one that's just as good or better, let me know. I'd like to know. Now, this guy here is a natural fisherman. And I'm up by the Thousand Islands region in New York State right now. This guy has got it in his blood to catch fish. And I keep trying to encourage him to start a YouTube channel, you know, a fishing channel. Just So I don't have much uh, attention span for technical things intuitive but it comes down to like planning out making videos and stuff I'm not maybe you didn't drink so much beer maybe I'm <laughs> just joking around a lack of resiliency or something I don't have I don't know intuition has got me far I guess that's probably it that's why I'm not a great musician well I you... don't really tighten anything down I just like to make stuff up I think that leave it brother Tim he's good on the technical stuff and the art stuff he is YouTube if you two collaborated even virtually on a channel, I think you guys could come up with something. Because my oldest son, Tim, is very good with uh, art, very good artist. SoundCloud, and, uh, Timothy Joseph, too. Send a little shout out to him there. What? Say again? On SoundCloud.com or the SoundCloud app, he is Timothy Joseph, too. SoundCloud, it's an application. There's four songs, I think, on there. They're Look all up of... Timothy Joseph 2, That's My Son, on SoundCloud. I have one, too, but I'm not going to pitch it here because some of it's pretty goofy. <laughs> and I don't know if all your viewers would find it. Uh, they don't understand the humor in it. Not to put... I just have pretty gross jokes about gross stuff. Hey, Liam, you want to be in my video? Liam, come on over. you got to be in the video here. Let's get my... You want to or you don't Why? Because I'm asking you to. I want you to be in yeah. my video. Just Can't say hello. On YouTube channel. Just walk over here and say hello. Come on. Please. Bring one of your guns or something. Tell us all about it. He's shy. There's nobody watching right now. It's just us recording it. Come on over. Yeah. Uh, guess not. Sweet events. He's a character. Whoa, whoa. I'll remember that. <laughs> Nothing for Christmas for you, Sonny. Nobody denies me in my videos. <laughs> Man. I feel bad for chugging it. It's like something that you don't you have to chug it. You don't have to kill it. I'm not chugging it. I'm just habitually picking it up and drinking out of it. And, uh, oh, this guy, we go fishing. And I don't have any patience for fishing. For me, fishing's not a sport. I like to catch fish for the food. He, it's more a sport. And uh, he goes after them like a hunter, uh, trying to figure out where they're at, and what to get them with. It's not to say I always catch them, because we could spend a whole day, and I mean it's six hours fishing, Move to several different locations, different towns, different bodies of water. And I still don't catch anything, but the temperatures were off this year. We'll have to do it again next year when the, the water temperatures hopefully aren't as high as this year was bad. They're not, you can't fish from shore. When it's hot, they're not going to come in. It'll mess them up. They'll die. Man, the poor guys. Excuse the language. God. Don't let them get messed up. we got to cook them. They, I, think, them. I think at the beginning of the whole COVID thing, some Canadian guys went around and just netted all the fish out of Lake Ontario and dragged them behind their boat and just took all the fish because there weren't fish this year. There were not. I never catch fish. I had a good year the, last year. I had a good year. But 
That's a tinder mess. You know, you get your seeds each. I am a fishing jinx. That might be it too. No, I fish with other people. They might be fishing jinxes too. I was told that he was a uh, hunting jinx, so probably the same. It's pepper, stuffed pepper. Yeah, it's not hot pepper. Mmm. Shut up. That's good. That's good. I like that. It's really good. That's good. That's that. Pretty good. Whoever you are, I wish you were here. Yeah, we got plenty of food. Some of you, maybe not, but no, seriously. No, probably. <laughs> All of you that. I thought about inviting some extra people, I didn't, because I had the second guesses. Well. Well, right? Yeah. Just time to sign off. Then I don't know what else can we say about this beer. Other than five stars out of five, probably, if you really want to have a small drink. I don't give it that. I do. That's me. Well, all right. He gives it five out of five. We're, I think we're measuring differently, right? Yeah, You're looking at definitely. overall drink, drinkability. No, it's definitely... Um, Top shelf. If this is what you're looking for, if you want this kind of beer that's uh, something you're going to sit, maybe even split a bottle with a couple of people. But it's not something you're going to sit and have four or five beers while you're sitting there watching TV at night. Yeah, I'd say, uh, Shit, you have two I'll give it five two. out of five if for what it is, definitely, for the style. Um, you know, and uh, the price... In my other beer reviews, they usually give a really expensive beers a thumb down if they're wicked expensive. But this beer is aged. It's kind of a, a different, it's like a barley wine, really. It is. They call yeah. it an IPA, but I'm not getting the hops up front. I would call this more like a barley, what's that's, called a barley wine. That's such heavy hops that it's like a syrup. It's got a very thick mouthfeel. I hate mouthfeel anyways, it's very thick. Very happy. Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. What the? All right, folks. Anyways, yes. Okay. Turn it off. Howdy doody. Thanks for watching. Go out and grab yourself some of this and leave a comment. Stay COVID free. Bless y'all. Thanks for watching us.